Now back to the application or website. Remember, this is a model view controller. The model is the business logic, the data. The view is what you look at here on the web page, and the controller manages the interaction between the two. There are some pre-built models come, that come with the application that was created. One of them is this contact form here. The other one is this login and then about. And you can see how these kind of click about. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit the configuration file. Now remember that in uh, the index.php, we said this is our configuration file, this config main.php. And that's right here, main.php. We already changed the name, which is important because you can have this title up here. If that's nowhere else, if you don't use it anywhere else besides there, that's good enough for changing it up there. But now we're going to change this component here, which is URL manager. And there's some other changes we're going to make in other videos, but just URL manager is all we're going to focus on now. The easiest thing to do is to just uncomment this so that it is activated or that the component is passed to the application. Now, just for review a little bit, these are arrays. So the array has a index and then a value. And so we're passing these index and values to this component, which itself is in an array being passed to the components. When I do that, and I go back to our application here, first thing you notice is that up here, the URL is question mark R. Everything goes to index.php, and then we pass these parameters to it. And that's not very friendly. And you can see that on here, down here, you can see that that's the URL that it refers to. But if I refresh, now you can see that what's going to be, be passed is just the straightforward slash and what we're looking for, which is a lot friendlier for SEO, for all sorts of purposes. The last thing I want to do, though, is get rid of this index.php. It doesn't add any value. There's lots of different ways to do that. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to add one parameter to the URL manager. The parameter we're adding is show script name is false. Not in quotes, which would make it a string, but actually false. This would be wrong. That is ideally how it should work. It's not going to work. This does two things by adding that. One, it tells this menu item that I need to not have the index.php because it gets the URL by building it rather than by hard coding it. And we want to make sure that when we have other modules that, modules that we do the exact same thing. So if I refresh this, you see now when I hover over this, the index.php is gone. But that's only half of the problem. When I click on here, you see that the object isn't found. We have to do some more work. First of all, we need to change, make some changes to the Apache server. So if I go back to my local host and go to my PHP info, I want to make sure that the rewrite module is activated. And I see it here, mod rewrite. If it weren't activated here in PHP info, I would go into the http.conf file and make sure that it wasn't commented out. But it is activated here. Next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my ht.access file is actually being parsed. When the application was built, it automatically put this ht access file, this .ht access file, in the protected folder. Now, the way to test to see if this is working or not, or doing what we think it should be, is to open it up and just add some random code random code. Now if it were working, when I go to relaunch my application, it should give us an error. There's no error. It's because it's not reading that HT access file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that file and move it up into the upper directory. The way it works is that it applies to all subdirectories. Now you have to make sure that a directory below this doesn't have its own HD access file. Otherwise, it won't do that any good. So now we'll open up that HD access file. I got my random code still in there. Now let's see what happens when I run my application. Error. 
Well, of course it got me an error because I had some bad code in there. Now what I need to do is add some code in here to turn on the rewrite module. This turns on the rewrite engine and has this rule that says anything you come across just redirect me to google.com. This has nothing to do with ye. This is all the Apache server that is doing this. Let's see what happens when we do this. Access forbidden. We're almost there. Now what I need to do is add one more option. Adding this option then we'll allow it to follow those alias links that we have to get into this directory. And when I refresh, it takes me to Google automatically no matter what I type. These are the parameters that I need for the particular application I'm in. Again, this is all settings for Apache. I've turned on the engine and then I said my base is going to be my password manager. Otherwise, it will go into the htdocs folder where XAMPP is. This parameter here says if you find the file, then go ahead and open that. It says if you find the directory, then go into that directory. Otherwise, go to index.php. So here we are back at our main file. If I hover over contact, it doesn't have the index.php. And if I click on it, it takes me there and gives me the right URL. So now we're all set up that URL manager is working. There's some other parameters that we're going to edit in here. And I'll just do those really quickly. And then we'll be talking about how we use those in the next video. This here just activates the G tool. The G tool is something I will use to automatically build the models. You can see that there's also error handling and um, log handling here. But that's all the editing I'm going to do in this file here. Once I save that, I'm ready to go. Everything seems to be working. I'm just going to use the G tool in the next video.